um, hi guys welcome to this second part of the menstruation cycle um, on the first part we sort of explained this graph and talked about how menstruation happens now in this part let's talk about what happens when conception happens um, conception means uh, fusion of egg and sperm to make zygote that's conception so the primary cause of this breaking of endometrium is because uh, this increase in estrogen and progesterone would provide this negative feedback loop and there would be less of this luteinizing hormone to maintain the corpus luteum and the corpus luteum was the one producing estrogen and progesterone and now there's nothing to maintain this then there's only less estrogen and progesterone and that's why the endometrium layer will fall apart so if zygote is formed then the zygote develops into embryo and there's this stage called gastrula sorry blastula and this blastula it produces the at human crony gonadotropin hormone hcg hormone and uh, the blastula produces this hcg and hcg maintains this corpus luteum in lack of the luteinizing hormone so that's what happens during pregnancy this hcg maintains corpus luteum and um, the corpus luteum is still producing estrogen and progesterone and in this case this the level of estrogen and progesterone is still going to be high and the high level of estrogen and progesterone is going to maintain the endometrium layer and after the first trimester means after the first three months of the pregnancy the placenta uh, placenta is the organ uh, that is responsible for the exchange of gases and nutrients between the mom and the uh, the baby that's placenta and the placenta is well developed after the first trimester and um, after that the placenta just produces estrogen and progesterone there's no hcg and this hcg is the hormone that involved that's involved in morning sickness in women that's like they throw up um, they feel like throwing up every morning and this is the hormone ca that causes that and after the first trimester um, the morning sickness is gone because the HCG is gone and the placenta just produces estrogen and progesterone and HCG like this is like in the pregnancy test they check for HCG and presence of HCG or not they sort of tell um, if the woman is pregnant or not so that's what happens during pregnancy HCG is produced by blastula that um, maintains this corpus luteum and corpus luteum produces estrogen and progesterone so the level of estrogen and progesterone is high and that sort of maintains the endometrium um, now let's talk what happens during menopause shortly too so during menopause ovary becomes less responsible to FSH and LH so that's what happens during menopause so if the ovary is less responsible to FSH and LH these two are the hormones that causes this development of the follicle and if the ovary is less responsible to them then the follicle is it's not going to develop and if the follicle is not going to develop egg is not going to be released and so a woman can be pregnant and also follicles uh, fail to develop or rub or they fail to rupture too and if the, the in rare cases let's say the follicle develops but um, it might fail to rupture so that's what happens during menopause the ovary becomes less sensitive to FSS and LS and as a result the follicle might fail to develop or it might fail to rupture so um, this terminates our description of menstruation cycle and um, pregnancy and a little bit about menopause too i hope you guys enjoyed my videos thank you for watching bye